Johnson, 147 for the match. And Penn State with the five blocks, Wisconsin with the six, so they've caught up. You see Thompson there, and Thompson gets the first kill of set number three. Sticking with the game plan, out of the box here in set three, the fastball to the middle, trying to take advantage of that speed of Dominique Thompson. Her fifth kill here as she rotates out. And Mori back to serve. She's a great defensive plays by her here today. Simone Lee tried to get it through the block, but is denied. Haley Nelson there. The Badgers haven't had much success slowing down Simone Lee. As we said, she did play in the first meeting between these two teams and had a Penn State high 12 kills, hit 265. But on the season, she's played in just under half of the set, hitting 241. And there is Haley Washington. A great look at what the freshman middle has been able to do in the time she has played all season long. And I say that because she did miss some time earlier on with an injury. Enough so that she's not eligible because of the amount of sets played for National Freshman of the Year. And you have to think she would certainly be a top candidate having been Freshman of the Year in the Big Ten, which has once again proven itself to be one of the very best, very best conferences in this country in the round of eight. Three of the teams left are from the Big Ten. Are back to serve? looking just a little bit coming out of the break. See how she does here in set three. The overdig. Simone Lee tried to put it down. Lori with some great hustle. And how about Micah Hancock? Haven't seen a lot of offense from her, but there's a look at how she does it. She does it fast, she does it hard. And she that that is the same approach that she takes when she's gonna set the ball. She steps into it, she chunks with both hands, so she's able to disguise that attack. But for Lauren Carlini, you have to wonder if the time off during the break actually causes that foot sure. to tighten up a little more. Hancock, and more service errors here today. Tip over Mia Grant. There's Courtney Thomas. Good decision there by the senior. Doesn't matter if you hit it hard or tip it over the block. It's still a kill at the end of the day. Smart play by Courtney Thomas. And gets Hancock off the service line again, though not quite the Micah Hancock we have seen. 122 service aces leads the country in aces per set as well. And Mia Grant denied there again. Mia Grant here, who has not been clocked this evening. Haley Nelson, a great job of reading that. Staying out in front there, Micah across the back row now makes that a much easier read for the middle blocker. Service error now for Kelly Bates. And we're split at a set apiece here. Wisconsin took the opening set in this one, 25-22. Penn State took the second set. Carlini down the middle. And Courtney Thomas gets it down. Playing attacker for the Badgers last year for the first time is that she just didn't have the shots. Well, she certainly does this year. And they've, what they've done is they've tried to create a quicker tempo ball to her to give her better looks. And Coach said, I don't know if there's another player in the country who gets the sets she gets, and their hitting efficiency jumped like 150 sure. points from a year ago. KT Kavos back to serve. Dig by Bates. Swing it out to Chapman. Dug up by Gonzalez. Tight to the net. Anna Whitney gets it to go. Same swing, same result for Ayanna Whitney. Loads and then just brings one right down the line. As you see there, sometimes the blockers line up right, the defender's in the right spot. And here, Ayanna Whitney, you just go over the entire defense. And Russ Rose is from Ayanna Whitney, Washington, and Mia Grant. This three-headed monster of this season. See Chapman denied there by Washington. They'll go back to her again. Overdig, put down by Thompson. That's a must-have for Wisconsin. Take advantage of any error you can force. A big swing by Chapman. The overdig, and Wisconsin's got to have it. Thompson puts it away. Six kills for Thompson here today, hitting 200. Back set, and cross court goes Ayano Whitney. She has eight kills here today to lead the Nittany Lions. She rotates out, pull her in to serve. 
This is such a talented and deep Penn State team. Ayanna Whitney in her junior season has not had much of a role on this team until this year. to that set. Maury there with the dig. Trying to dive for the save. Dominique Gonzalez could not get there in time. And you know, sometimes Lauren Carlini chooses the back row attack. As you see here, out of choice. That was out of necessity. She's moving back on that foot. She couldn't do anything else with that ball except hanging up there. And she immediately looked at Thomas and said, thank you. Even with that injured foot, we have seen her all over the court defensively. The Six digs. I mean, that says it all right there. You're talking about a player who is in some pain, obviously, who is walking gingerly when she needs to. But boy, when that ball gets across the net, it's life and limb yeah. to save it. It's a gritty performance. Carlini just at the net with Washington. And Hancock wins it there. Ball coming straight down over the net, gets it over. Strong hands again at the at the net here from Micah Hancock. Bates denied, and there's a look at Hancock's father, Michael. We spoke to him, got him in the hotel actually on the way over. He said, "Hey, how is my daughter really? How how is she?" He said, "Hey, she's great." And uh, we've actually, Coach Kelly Sheffield told us she's the face of women's college volleyball. He started to tear up. So proud of his daughter. And he said, look, if we can get past Wisconsin and move forward, we are 12 miles away from Eden, Oklahoma to Oklahoma City for the finals. Wouldn't it be a storybook ending for the senior to defend her national title that close to home? But isn't a parent always a parent? He said, is she humble? <laughs> Absolutely. 4 0 run for was excuse me, for Penn State here. They give and go to Bates. Back set Washington on the slide. And Washington down the line. Look at the energy from the freshman. Dynamite. They set this slide considerably higher. See how high that ball is to Washington? She doesn't have the fast slide of Nia Grant. It's a completely different ball. Micah delivers it so well. She knows the set that each player needs to be successful. So you have Washington, who is six foot three, and then on the other side, five foot eleven, Dominique Thompson again. Coach Sheffel said there may not be a middle shorter than her in our league, but she is so quick, tries to beat people to the spot. Very good off of one foot, quick laterally. We've seen all of those skills here today. Washington will try again, but that is long. Amy Washington, everything is advertised according to Coach Russ Rose. Said she's such a great kid, always into conversation with thank you, Coach. Don't hear that often. A small lead tries to get it down. He also said, when I call her a great kid, you do realize that I'm uh, judging that off of 40 years of experience. He exactly. said, I've seen quite a few of them. Great play here between these two teams. Great rally. Hard Over the hurt. block. Four diving in. Simone going high, but it's denied. Haley Nelson there. Carlini bumps set a ball in that long rally that she typically would not. It's slow making that movement off the net. She has such great ball control. She still hung it on the outside, but that's a ball that girl's typically using her hands on. She's just not able to right now. Pretty blue collar. It's what Sheffield caused this team. And then you see the momentum shifter and the service error by Maury. Tied up. Had 11 apiece here in set three after a split in the first two sets between these two big ten foes. Down goes Haley Nelson. And when a player has a one-on-one -on -one look like this, the setter's doing something right. She came off the net. Nia Grant thought there's no chance she's going back. She still is able to get that ball on the slide. Nelson in negative numbers yesterday as Hancock tries to go over on two. And they're going to say there was a touch, and everybody from Wisconsin coming over to talk to our up official, Patsy Malta, about that one. And the look on Sheffield's face does it all. I believe it was the line judge on the Penn State side of the net that calls that touch. 
and the up official goes with the line judge here. She has the authority to overrule him. Wisconsin yeah, can't believe that. it. And there was a touch by Carlini. And you're hearing the Wisconsin fans not happy about that call at all. Hancock with that serve. Simone Lee got it through the block. Got that by Carlini. Lee will try again and is denied again. Haley Nelson, not on her A game last night, but I'll tell you what, she is bringing it to the court here today. Coach, you know, he was honest. He said she is not super fast side to side. She doesn't jump real high. She just works. We have Brent now. Side out in point four. The Nittany Lions, four blocks for Wisconsin in this set alone to, was, to Penn State's two. Wisconsin, a 273 for the set to Penn State's 136. That's an ace. Kendall Pierce, the junior. Right at Kelly Bates, who did not play all six rotations early in the season. They eased her into this role. Coach said, we knew when we let her stay on the court and pass, teams were going to attack. Went right back to her again there. Megan Courtney off the block. Back set. The second net violation on Penn State. Great job by Courtney Thomas. Swinging away. Lori and Nelson rotate out for Wisconsin. Katie DeVos back to serve here for the Badgers. Megan Courtney, all kept alive. Over the block this time. Carlini the push over by Thomas. Ayano Whitney. Off the fingertips of the Badgers and out. Point goes to the Nittany Lions. A very tight set three here. Penn State up by one. In the case here today, coming out of that timeout, I noticed Lauren Carlini did not sit down. We talked about keeping that foot warm. She moved around the entire time. Set by Grant to Whitney. Give and go back to Ayana Whitney. And no, we're going to say it was wide. Looking for a touch. There was just a little hesitation before Kelly Bates stepped in to bump set that ball up to the net. And when that happened, they just didn't get the look that they needed there. Chapman swinging away. Two point advantage for Penn State here in set three. The back set and the antenna. Point will go to Penn State. It's another good looking Carlini moving on that left foot just ever so gingerly as she moves and she puts in miles at the setting position. The court may be small, but she goes from serve receive to the net, back and forth. By one run for Penn State. Ends it there. That last shot of Carlini was, was very good and indicative. What we're actually seeing in the entire match is she's just not putting a lot of weight on it when she doesn't have to. Amazingly, I can't say that her performance has faltered much. No. Wow. She's just a sophomore. Again, Big Ten setter of the year, Big Ten player of the year. And Washington. Off the block, out of bounds, but what a matchup. Thompson versus Washington, 5'11". Versus six foot three. Completely different styles out of the middle. What a fun matchup to watch. So back to Thompson, who got it perfectly through the Penn State block. Thanks to that delivery of Carlini going down low off the net. Look at this. They are firing it to the right hand center to get ahead of that Haley Washington block. Jem in the serve now. Megan Courtney will take the set. And 
she goes wide. Going for a pretty fierce angle there. And the scary thing is, I think she can actually hit that angle at times. That's just how good Megan Court is. She has three kills and three attack errors here today. And Contra Washington just tipped it over the block. Digging deep into the bag of tricks. You yeah. usually see her go full force and paint that back line. Not this time. Well, and, you know, credit the freshman for staying with that play. The pass is almost into the right antenna. Mikey Hancock backing up, and Haley doesn't bail out. She's in the air, available to her setter. It goes down for Kelly Bates. She goes deep. Now it's Penn State's turn to groan. They don't like this call. Kelly Bates comes flying in. The official says she gets a piece of the corner. Simone Lee off the block. Had dumped by Demi Morales. And Hawk, give and go to Lee. And it's just in. A little bit of spin on the ball, and it stayed in bounds. And again, in that long rally, you saw Lauren Carlini bump set a ball. Here you see she jumps, lands on one foot. This is a play that typically, you know, she may, full speed, she may land and turn and play that ball. Over on two goes Carlini. And that's something she can do even on a bum foot, Missy. Just when you think she's down. Here she comes. Don't count this girl out. What a gutsy performance. Goes up and throws one at Penn State's defense. Ball. Said not quite there. But she wanted it. Lee with the seven kills, four hitting errors here today, and a timeout call. We are tied up at 20 apiece here, and what has been a very close set three between Penn State and Wisconsin for a trip to the national semifinals. For a team is going to be 250 maybe and above. Uh, definitely these teams are capable of numbers much higher than that. Penn State, Penn State leads the nation with a 355 hitting efficiency on the season. The last point was Wisconsin's first off. Carlini served today. Simone denied four, could not get there in time. That's all effort on the part of Courtney Thomas out here on the right side. She's on a wide base here, not really in position to make this block. Look at her reach back in, you know, not giving up on a single play here. Hancock dug up by Demi Morales. One of the few errors we've seen from Lauren Carlini in an attempt to really shoot one to the outside where Kelly Bates can come flying in. What a great dig by Demi Morales, one of the players on this team who's seen a role change in terms of less me and more sure. we. In the national final game a year ago, Demi Morales actually led Wisconsin in kills with 15. She's not even in an attacking role today. She was an outside hitter then, no DS. And finally, the first ace of the afternoon for the leader in the country in that category. And there's her dad, Michael, looking on. Think he's a bit nervous here? It's been very close here in set number three as we get a timeout from Coach Sheffield to talk about it. One ready to just go blow for blow against the other. You'd never know that Wisconsin was in a five-set battle last night. Physically, they don't look tired. And I'll tell you what, maybe more so than the physical side of it is the emotional drain that last night had to be on this Wisconsin team. Is, you know, they were two points away there in set four from their season ending. Now I know Whitney there winning that battle at the net against Haley Nelson. Hancock remains at the service line. Penn State up 23-21, set three. Another ace. Two aces make it up for the four errors from earlier in the day. Micah Hancock finding her groove. It's taken longer than she'd like, but the aces are starting to roll. Sheffield now, another timeout, trying to figure out how to get her off the service line. A 4-0 run for the Nittany Lions, and at a set point, 
Hancock. Again, the four errors here today, but getting it going late for the Nittany Lions at the service line. And she's managing this offense so, so well, delivering not just a hittable ball here. These are killable balls every time. A little offense of her own, the tip, the attack, and guess who likes it the most? Dad celebrates. Athletic middles. I mean, today's matches are just, they're just really going to be some great college volleyball. Set point for Penn State. Service error, number five for Hancock. She's going to love to have delivered that final blow for this set here. Back to serve for the Badgers. Kelly Bates. Still set point for the Nittany Lions. Anna Whitney. Got up by Bates. Push it out to Chapman over the block. Set with the open block, picked up by Bates. Back set, soft touch, and down it goes! Simone Lee again! 